be uh, fishing a different location today, but uh, the plan didn't work out. So I decided to make uh, the best of the situation, try to turn a negative into a positive and uh, make a little video that uh, will highlight some of the products that are available on our website and uh, how you can use them on the water. Um, whether you're just getting into carp fishing or you've been in, into it for a while, uh, everybody has a starting point. Whether it was a fish that you uh, hooked uh, targeting a trout, whether you hooked into a carp while you're targeting trout and then you were just surprised by their power or it was an incidental catch while you were flipping a jig for for bass and then you thought you had the biggest bass of your life and it ended up being like a 15 pound carp or something everybody gets started somewhere and uh, not everybody gets all the gear all at once so I'm just going to show you the products that are available on our site that you can incorporate uh, into your uh, arsenal of tackle and uh, and utilize down the road to target uh, I'm just gonna highlight three basic rigs. The most simple is just a hair rig. So I'm gonna start out with the hair rig. Uh, there's a bunch of fish working on the bait that I put in last night and I'm kind of anxious to get a rig in the water. Um, we have all kinds of options for baiting on the website whether it's uh, you know a bait rocket or a, like a spot uh, a spoon or a catapult. We have a bunch of uh, baiting options available. So last night I used a baiting spoon. Today I'll probably just use a catapult. But you know the, the spoons are interchangeable on bank sticks or uh, net handles, etc. But uh, so I'm just going to highlight uh, these other two rigs. I'll probably move on to uh, the German rig after that. I'll show you all the components for that. And then incorporates a boilie and an ESP pop-up boilie. And then uh, I'll go to a multi-rig with the new uh, ESP double pop-up corn. And uh, hopefully I can catch enough fish to, uh, to highlight all those rig options. But uh, there's a massive cloud out there right now of fish working on the bait from last night. So I want to get this started off quick.
simple hair rig. Two pieces of pineapple corn and an ESP pop up corn. 90 gram inline lid. Don't throw your old packages from your uh, pack bay or your boilies. They're always good to add a little water to the fish here. Little baiting in advance. You follow the regulations in your area. A little baiting in advance never hurt. Quick bite off the mark. So we got a fish on the hair rig, the simple hair rig. Now we'll move on to the German rig and hopefully finish with the multi rig. Uh, it's always good to have backups of items. Uh, the battery died in my monster alarm, so I'm using a backup alarm, but same thing goes with all of your equipment. Uh, you know, the, the bigger, the more time you have invested in a session, the better off you are to have some backup equipment, whether uh, if your baiting spoon breaks, you know, maybe have a catapult. Uh, if your rod breaks, have a backup rod. If your alarm's no good, like, have backup batteries. It's just cover all your bases. Today I was planning on using bank sticks, but the ground is so hard here today I'm just using the little uh, Witchwood uh, pocket pod. And uh, it's perfect for little sessions where you're moving about and uh, it gets the job done. But I'm going to get this fish back. spawn fish. Somehow I managed not to scare them all out of the swim so I'm gonna get rig number two out there quickly. Uh, it's my favorite uh, tough bite rig. It's a German rig. I have a snowman rig on here today uh, with a coconut boilie and an ESP pop-up boilie on top and uh, I usually run a corn stack on here in my tough bite situations but uh, I'm going to use the boilie today for a more visual sort of presentation on the bottom. Uh, let's see if we can knock off fish number two and then uh, move on to the, the multi rig after this.
fish number two is taken care of on the uh, on the German rig with the boilie and the pop-up boilie on the snowman rig. Uh, so fish number two is taken care of. We're gonna move on to the multi rig now with the double pop-up corner, and uh, we'll talk about some of the other equipment that we've been using today. And uh, while we're waiting for the third fish to bite. Send this one back. So today we're just fishing with the uh, two and a quarter pound nine foot monster carp rod. And uh, the last rig I wanted to catch on today for the video uh, was the multi rig. Uh, it, underwater it kind of behaves a lot like the Ronnie rig and uh, it gets a really good hook hold they really get nailed in the bottom lip um, and if you end up dulling your hook and you can't sharpen it it's easy to swap out the hook on the rig and not have to retie a whole new rig you can just swap out the hook really quick um, by pulling the loop over the over the point of the hook everything comes off and then put the new hook on put the loop back around the point and you're fishing again so if you're fishing a rocky area getting into a lot of fish it might be a rig to look into for you but anyways these products are all available on the monster site I'm gonna get this back out there and then uh, hopefully we can uh, finish the catching on the three rigs I mentioned earlier.
uh, pack made available uh, in a bunch of different flavors, uh, a few different sizes. Um, and then we have the weighted spring feeders, spring feeders, cage feeders, the rocket feeder, and the method leads. Um, all great options to, to fish pack bait. You know, if you're fishing uh, earlier in the spring or later in the fall, you don't want to overfeed the fish, that's a great option. Or if you didn't get a chance to pre-bait, but anyways, fish on. Of the day. Nice. Good for you, brother. Daddy, what is that? It's a big carp. Can I eat it? No. I like the butter. Wow. Weighing them and everything? I know. If it was bigger, maybe. Good for you. <laughs> multi-rig fish. Not as big as I thought it would be, but so that's three fish now on three different rigs, all with materials available on our website. So hopefully you're having a great season. And if you're just thinking about getting into carp, carp fishing, don't, don't be afraid to reach out to us on our social media channels, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and uh, we'll do our best to help you out. And you can also email us uh, info at monstercarptackle.com and there's a link uh, to that on our website www.monstercarptackle.com Let this guy go. special happens then I'll insert uh, insert some more video or photos as I go forward but uh, I just wanted to let you know that uh, with the uh, with the pop-up corn uh, I'm not fishing it I'm not fishing it as is I'm adding some scent to it but uh, 
we don't have any scent on we don't have any scent on the, the website but uh you know if you have anything at home that or any other baits then you can kind of just keep your your pop-up corn in in the pot of uh, pineapple corn the monster pineapple corn or in with the boilies if you don't have any scent at all but if you do you won't purchase some scent uh it's best to stack the odds in your favor and add a little bit of scent to the to the fake uh the fake baits but anyways i'm gonna keep at it for a while and uh thanks for stopping by Nice little 22 pound fish to finish off the day. Looks like it's finished spawning not too long ago. It's, but, uh, we're gonna let it let it go here and uh, thanks for stopping by. What kind of fish is it? Uh, carp. Like I said before, uh, I opened this up today and uh, the battery was dead. So I had a backup alarm that I was using. But uh, one of the good features of the monster alarms is that they just take a 9 volt battery. Uh, super easy to find. You can get it anywhere while you're getting your groceries or if you're stopping at the convenience store for gas or whatever. Uh, pick up a 9 volt battery no problem it's something to keep in mind when you're shopping for an alarm because not all the alarms take standard batteries like triple A's or 9 volt batteries or double A's uh, a lot of them take really weird like like garage remote control opener type batteries that are like odd shapes and they're they're more expensive and tougher to track down but uh, anyways like I said, it's good to have backups. 
especially if you're uh, even if you're fishing like spods and spawns and all that sort of stuff the spods a lot of them they, t they tend to break at the worst possible time so it's good to have like just a just a regular like bait rocket or something uh, on hand just kind of a lower tech option that uh, is less likely to fail on you and uh, you know anything that can provide some insurance to make sure you have a good day on the water isn't such a bad thing another good overlooked piece of equipment that I was using today uh, I'm just breaking down my pod now I have my rod just sitting on the ground while I'm packing up but another good piece of kit uh, for your backrest is this flexible uh, butt grip uh, it uh, helps keep the rod a lot more secure than the open hard plastic uh, butt, butt rests uh, or backrests but uh, it really holds on to the rod and uh, if you have a hard take and you have your drag set a little too high or whatever it's it's helps keep things a little more secure so it's something to look into as well uh, easily overlooked and for the price uh, it really does uh, it really does a good job